I'll show you how to do it. I'll show you. Do this. Starting your belt. Follow the follow, follow the leader. Whatever I do, do after me. Okay? We're going to praise the Lord. Do this. How do you feel to tighten your belt? Okay. All right. I've known this man of God for several years now. He has been coming to our camp meetings to minister. And then to Goshen to minister. He's a very energetic dynamic man of God full of the word and the anointing. He is a senior pastor of Living Springs, Ghana. A very powerful, beautiful church around Achimota. He's married with three powerful children. Amen. You know him already, so I won't speak much about him. But he's a very, hum very, very, very humble man of God. And um, very handsome too. In fact, one of the handsome ministers of God in Ghana is one of them. Look, look for him. Very handsome man of God. And this morning, we are privileged to have a minister in this crossover committee which is themed is anything too hard for the Lord. And we trust that God will use him as a vessel to be a blessing to you individually and then to the commission as a whole. Please turn your feet shortly. Lift your two hands and say, Lord, give me an encounter. Speak something specific into my life. Say, Lord, give me a specific word. Meet me. Judge my case for me. Lord, address my issue. Address my situation. Come on, pray for one minute. 
Labanda, Lika to Santa Kazizaku, Brade to Sakabretis, Elota Shisansa. We thank you, Father Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. You know how we do the last thing welcome. Give the Lord a mighty lasting welcome yeah. and invite Reverend yeah. Sami Opoku Achampo. Yeah. Hallelujah. Give God. Yeah. Give it to God for his life. Yeah. Give it to God for his life. Give it to God for his life. Give it to God for his life. Hallelujah. Amen. Before I test over, let me also welcome Apostle Shades and his wife on board today. Hallelujah. Yesterday, he was a blessing to us. Hallelujah. Amen. He's here again to bless us. Man of God, over to you. God bless you. Amen. Come on, let somebody give, the, give it to Jesus. Clap your hands, somebody, and give him some praise in the house. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Put those beautiful hands together. Put those beautiful hands together. Hallelujah. 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 How many of you know that the ability to clap is somebody's prayer topic right now? There is somebody in the hospital who is praying to God to give him the ability just to clap by you and I by the grace of God. We have it for free. Come on. Let's give it to Jesus. Yeah. Hey. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know that a second friends of your mom determines the blessings that God puts in it? The second friends of your mom. <laughs> determines the blessings that God put in it. Yeah. Yeah. God said that I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt. Open your mouth wide. And I will feel it. Blessings are predicated by how wide you open your mouth. That's why the Bible says, clap your hands, so ye people. You see? Anytime you clap, you are making a prophetic statement. And the word clap in the Hebrew is taka, which means blowing a sound of victory or sounding an alarm of breakthrough. Come on, let's
let's do it for the last time. Clap your hands and shout. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Sit down, cross your legs, and let the devil know you're in charge. Sit down like a VVIP. Say to somebody, you are God's most valuable product. I didn't tell you to propose to somebody, I just said it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. How many of you believe you are God's most valuable product? I, I always love to do this illustration. It is 20 Ghana CDs. How many of you love it? You like it? Open. If I squeeze it like this, do you still like it? Open. You like it? Okay, what if I throw it on the floor? Do you still like it? Oh, what if I put it in a gutter? Oh, and it is soaked with gutter water and it's smelling. Do you still like it? What if I tear it into two? Do you still like it? Why? Because you may patch it with some salad tape or some kenke or banku. <laughs> what if I throw it on the floor and I step on it and squeeze it like this? Will you still pick it up? Why do you still like this currency? In spite of all that the currency might have been through, you like it because the value is still the same. No matter what you have been through, God sent me here to tell you that your value before him is still the same. It doesn't matter what people have said about you. You are still his most valuable product. Hallelujah. Amen. So don't live your life by the opinions of people. What's God, what God says about you it's more powerful and important than what people say about you. Say to your neighbor, you are valuable to God. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a clap of That's the offering bowl, right? Thank you, man of God. Well, we thank God for this morning. It's good to be here. Indeed, this is a very beautiful place. I've never been here before. This is my first time and we thank God for the Church of Pentecost. Let's put our hands together for them. Hallelujah. I want to acknowledge God's angel and his wonderful wife in the house the apostle and reverend Mrs. Eiku let's give God a big let's give them a big God bless you come on put your hands together for them we appreciate you we love you so much you mean so much to us and God bless you for being visionary leaders in this generation Hallelujah. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Amen. I want to say a very big thank you for inviting me to be part of Crossover 2018. I acknowledge God's apostle. Apostle Maxwell Ekufu and his wife. We salute you, sir. And all the other men and women of God in the house. And God's apostle and his wife. Is it Apostle Sanders? Okay, God bless you, sir, and your wife. And your wife. Come on, let's give them a big God bless you. I came with my armor bearer and uh, some of my sons and daughters. Uh, you please stand to your feet? If it is Enam and Pastor Peter, thank you for coming with me. Well, it's going to be very fast and furious. I am under an assignment this morning. And the message I'm going to share with you is basically a prophetic message. Somebody shout prophetic. Shout again prophetic. And I want somebody to receive this word with faith. During the delivery of the word, I shall be prophesying as the Holy Spirit enables me. Now I want somebody to open up and receive it and the Lord who said it will watch over his word to perform it. Turn your Bibles with me if you please to Jeremiah chapter 32. And we are looking at verse 17. Then after that we will read verse 26 to 27. Let's hear the word of the Lord. Ah Lord God, behold. Thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretch out arms and there is nothing hard for thee. Verse 26 to 27. Then the word of the Lord then came the word of the Lord unto me Unto Jeremiah saying, Behold, I am the Lord. The God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to prophetically share with you a word of entitled, Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Shall we pray? Eternal weight of glory, we acknowledge your presence this moment. Do as you please in the name of Jesus. Let your will be done in our midst, even as it is in heaven. I hide myself behind the cross, O Holy Spirit. Use this earthen vessel of clay to be a blessing to your precious people. Let me not come to your people with my own enticing words of man's wisdom. But let me come to them, O oh God, with a demonstration of the Spirit. So that their faith will not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, touch my mouth with the cord of fire. And let my lips be like the pen of a ready writer. In Jesus' mighty name, O oh God, do as you please today. And at the end of the service, I will surely be careful to give you all the glory and all the praise. We decrease right now. And we say increase, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name. And let God's beautiful people say a big amen. Amen. Shout a big amen. Amen. Dear friend, the God you and I serve is a good God. 
God is good. As the saying goes, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. The Bible says that behold, every good and perfect gift comes from above, from the Father of lies. With him there is no variation or shadow of turning. The psalmist said in Psalm 34 verse 8, O taste and see that the Lord is good. And when we talk about our God being so good, it means that God has a bountiful propensity both to will and to bless his people. And because he's a good God, it's important for you and I to understand that regardless of what we go through in life, he doesn't mean for us to lose. No matter the situation you find yourself in, ladies and gentlemen, because your God is good, He will surely make sure that you have the last laugh. That's why the Bible said all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. I remember the other day Joseph, the son of Jacob, having been through some stuff, stood before his brothers and said, you meant it for evil but my God meant it for good. You thought you were selling my destiny to strangers not knowing that my God was rather sending me to my destiny. Child of God, as you listen to me today, if you are down to nothing, I want you to be rest assured that your God is up to something with your life. I came to prophesy to somebody who finds himself in the lowest ebb of life. By the end of this committed, you are coming out of that pit. You are coming out of that valley. You are coming out of that limitation. You are coming out of that prison. Come on, shorty. Yes. No matter where you find yourself, God is about to turn it around for your good. If you don't believe, you don't say anything. But if you believe, you live to and shout, I receive my portion. Come on, shout it again. I receive my portion. I receive my The Bible said that when the Lord turned the captivity of his people, we were like that. We were like those who dream. And our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. And they said among the nations that indeed the Lord has done a great thing for them. I prophesy to you that they that mocked you, they that laugh at you, they will be the very people who announce your victory, announce your breakthrough. Clap your hands and shout like your voice is yours. God is about to blow somebody's mind in this place. 
And it will be to you like a dream. Church, what I am saying, I am saying it out of experience. I have worked with God for many years and I know who he is and what he can do. When people say you are finished, he looks at you and say, don't mind them, it's a beginning. Oh, it's a beginning. It's a beginning. We are in August, the eighth month of the year. And the number eight stands for new beginnings. I prophesy to somebody today. Can I prophesy to somebody today? God is about to do a new thing in your life. New ideas are coming to you. New victories are coming. New victories are coming. New victories are coming. New breakthroughs are coming. New wisdom is coming. Come on, shorty. Yes. For some of you, I'm on your way. Now, for some of you, I'm at the end of the channel. Slap somebody high five and say to him or her, get ready for new things. Apostle, God says, get ready for new things. High side, you've never been before. He's about to zoom you to that place. And you're about to walk in some corridors of power. I hear you, my spirit. That's saying the Lord. I am about to give you a new level of influence in this nation. A new level of influence in this nation. Your influence is about to go beyond the borders of love community chapel can i come down sure yes Please bear with me, son of a tear. Me preach you here, but me name Kasa. My dream was I'm in tears here. I'm telling you, I'm so quiet, I don't talk. You'll be on Pekasa. Me preach you here, but I can't talk. Oh, yeah, I can't say, I'm telling you, I'm Kasa. I'm telling you, I'm microphone. Then I start misbehaving. So please bear with me this morning. I may misbehave small. <laughs> Say to your neighbor, bear with the pastor. I want to tell somebody whatever be your need or situation, it is not new to God. God has seen one before. He has dealt with one before. And yours will not be the one to intimidate him. And if he has done it before, he will do it again. You are serving a living God. You are not serving a dead God. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Come on, shout it, yes. Yes, so relax. Can I speak into somebody's life? You are the next in line for a visitation. Amen. And a year by this time, 
Kapande Mazando Rabadasha Tataya. Some people will look at you and their eyes will begin to hurt because they may not be able to recognize you. God will have changed your life in such a way that you will be unrecognizable. Come on, shout, I receive it. There is nothing new under the sun. Behold, is there anything too hard for you? Is the God of our flesh? Is there anything too hard for you? There is nothing new under the sun. I remember the first time I saw an automatic door. What's it? That was many years ago in London. I was visiting my bank, and for the first time, when I got to a few meters to the entrance, the door opened by its own accord. I said, Wow, wonders shall never end. This thing has never happened before. Until one day, I saw in the Bible when Peter was kept in prison, and constant prayers were made by the church for his release my bible says that God sent an angel to visit him in the prison they passed the first guard post they passed the second guard post and they came to the iron gate which leads to the city and it opened by its own Somebody shout and receive a breakthrough right now. The loudest your voice, the better it will be for you. The loudest your voice, the better it will be for you. Come on, shout yes. The iron gate hey, Apostle, bampun, that leads to the city bampun, opened by uh, his own automatic door. Yeah. door. Any okay. iron gate standing before you and your next level. I decree in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, it is opening right now. Amen. I said it's opening right now. It's opening right now. Somebody shout, I receive Job doors are opening right now. Financial doors are opening right now. Ministry doors are opening right now. Marriages doors are opening right now. Children doors are opening right now. Take your portion now. Take your portion now. Apostle, I remember. The first time I saw an ATM. Say your neighbor, your need is too small for God. There is nothing too hard for him. Automated teller machine. machine Hey, the first time I used one, I was amazed. Put in my card, <laughs> tag my <laughs> pin, then the money came out of the mouth of the ATM. I said, this thing has never happened before. Until one day I saw in the Bible, when they came asking Jesus on the payment of his taxes, he said to Peter, Peter, go fishing. Ah, the first fish you will catch, open his mouth, there is money in it. Come on, shout! And 
Sosso. Mais quand on va voir Paul on a and a pato of every kaba, nanum ube yisika. Oh, nice. Say to your neighbor, there is nothing too hard for your God. Oh, be piala nyonyakupane. Is there anything? Ana bibi wawa. Too hard for him. Eh, de manwana. Karabe Santalaba. I remember. Wakaibio. In 2012. 2012, yeah. When you same boat. Won the hundred meters race in the Olympics that was held in London by 9.63 seconds. Fastest man, and up to now, nobody has broken that record. I said, This thing has never happened before. Until I saw in the Bible. After Elijah prayed for rain, and he saw that the clouds have shifted, and he told his servant, Go and talk in Ahab to prepare his chariot, else he will be beaten by the rain. Ahab took the lead. Mm. The man took the lead Papa, Papa. with his horses. Mm. What human being on earth mm. can outrun horses? Mm. But my Bible says, the hand of the Lord, the hand of the Lord Hallelujah. came upon Elijah Hallelujah. and he outran the chariots of Ahab faster than the fastest man on earth today. In the name of Jesus, may the hand of the Lord come upon you. Receive grace for divine speed. Receive grace for divine acceleration. For the first shall be the last. And the last shall be the first. You find yourself now at the back you of life. But I see the hand of God picking you to the front. Picking you to the front. Shout, I take it. Olympus, you call Omu Komrika. Oni Pakuna, Namu Hari, or the Koyano. Bessie, no, or been to me to Mika, and Chana was out. Eh, yet you may move it up. Or Kokai Bible. Eh, how about Ali Elijah Seminier? Elijah, as much as you have a country, have so to Mika. Now one quite the Siam Rono or to your Pankosinity as Yanam. When you mention Pa, Elijah, so bad, no asano. Somebody receive fresh oil. Receive fresh oil. Your business is coming to the front. Receive. Jesus. I remember. Okay. I'm almost through. We are no no. I remember. Okay. I will go ahead, Apostle. I salute, sir. The first time I saw an elevator. The first time I entered into one. I was so scared to death. My goodness. Here we call it lift. How many of you have seen one before? Yeah, we said. And the Yatra lift you with that. The first time I entered into one. Oh, lift is a machine, <laughs> you know, that they put in a building. Mm -hmm. Okay? And and if 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 the building has 20 floors or 30 floors, you know, and you went time to it and you want to go to the 25th floor, you press the number, and in a few seconds it takes you there. No be so. Yes, sir. No be so. Free. We call it elevator. I remember the first time I saw one. Was this Wakai Emra or who became lifty and said Abrusemu and was said the young put them on our pressy baby Abessia? Oh, that's what I said. This thing was it? 
has never happened before. Until I read in the Bible, when Jacob had an encounter with God, my Bible decrees that he had a dream. And in the dream, he saw angels descending and ascended, descending and ascended, so fast, descending and ascended, descending and ascended. May the angels of God today descend and ascend with your petition and may them descend with your miracle basket come and shout like your voice is yours yay oh my brother I should have a phone what was for here and here for the sun yet when you go for any is there anything baby what what too hard for the Lord to hear on your part here just last week, one of our members was not feeling well and she went to the hospital for some tests. And they said uh, they can see some cancer growing in her blood. And this is serious. She was so frightened. Came to see me in the office. And said, Pastor, this is the report. I said, whose report will you believe? We thank God for doctors. We appreciate all that they do. But I want you to understand, child of God. God is the ultimate healer. He is the greatest physician. We walk by faith and not by sight. Is somebody hearing me today? I told her. Whose report? I asked her, whose report will you be? She said, Pastor. I said to her, Nilda, I'm going to pray for you and anoint you with oil. And after that, go for another test. And let's see what God will do. I prayed for her, anointed her with oil, release the fire of the Holy Ghost. To burn any cancer in her blood. Oh, today is Saturday. She went for the test on Tuesday, last Tuesday. And she sent me a message. And said, Pastor, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? They've done all the tests. And they said, My blood is fine. Everything in me is fine. As a matter of fact, they had to do the test three times because she couldn't believe it. Now, Ebeya was said that your son. Ebeya was said that your son. What we say no more? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. But I like it. But I like it. But I like it. Now I am saying, me oh, me now I say, oh, 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 o
it I hear in my spirit I will make you a light crusher and a barrier breaker today you are crossing that line today you will break that barrier hey. but I want you to listen to me carefully in a few minutes let me do this then we will pray and we'll see what the Holy Spirit will do because time is not on my side what's this there are few things that I want us to imbibe into the call of our spirits if you are able to do these things may I announce to you there is nothing that God cannot do for you no matter what you find yourself in number one get rid of doubt Sit your neighbor, get rid of doubt. I was praying and the Holy Ghost said to me, Sean, do you know that many of my children are serving me in doubt? Get rid of doubt. God is a God who cannot work in a place where doubt is like a cancer in the atmosphere. The Bible says that he went to his own, his own did not receive him. For a prophet is without honor except in his own house. Even though he had wanted to do mighty things there, but because of their unbelief, he left them. Say to him, have faith in God. God is able. Jesus said that if you have faith and if you will not doubt in your heart, you see, doubt is a heart issue. And anytime you doubt, you are like a double-minded person. And the Bible says that such a person uh, uh, should know that he or she will not receive anything from God. Can I speak into somebody's life? Your need, your situation is possible with a capital P. Amen. Who said, a year Slap somebody high five. Say to him, hey, it is possible. It is possible. All things are possible to them that believe. For if you have faith, you can speak or say to this mountain, be that removed and cast into the sea. And if you will not doubt in your heart, 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 doubt in your heart. You shall have whatsoever you say it. Hey! I remember the time I was trusting God to buy a property for our church. Years ago, we didn't have the money, but I had the power of prayer. Hey! One day I went to the office, 
And by the grace of God, I prayed from about 8.30 to 4.30 in the evening. Non-stop. Targeting one agenda. One day. Hey. I told my secretary that if anyone comes looking for me, tell the person to come the next day. I got to deal with some things. Church, when I finished, I knew in my spirit something has broken in the realm Amen. of the spirit. If you want to get something you've never gotten before, do something you have not done before. There can never be a rise without a price. How bad do you want it? Hey, Apostle, last week we are praying fasting and I studied the book of us, man of God, and I realized that those guys, hey, the early church members, the kind of attitude they serve God with, you and I, we have not even raised 10%. What's it? And yeah, I'm just doing it. Yeah, me know. Yeah, you know who say. Me who be that? It changed my life. Say to somebody, be aggressive. Say to the next person, you have to be violent sometimes. Life is not fair. The devil does not play the game fair. Are you understanding me, somebody? Those guys were aggressive. You touch them, they will come back at you. And any time they gather to pray, the Bible says that the place that they prayed mm. will shake. It wasn't a spiritual shake, you know. Have you and I prayed before? And the place we are praying shake. So what kind of prayer did they pray? And how did they pray it? May you leave crossover 2018 with a new sense of aggressiveness and tell the devil you are dealing with the wrong person. Anything you have stolen from me, I am coming back for it. I am coming back for my job. I am coming back for my marriage. I am coming back for my children. I am coming back for my money. I am coming back for my breakthrough. Clap your hands and shout like your voice is yours. Hey. I pray to the Lord and say, Lord, give me the grace to get there. Paul and Silas, man of God, were put into prison. And all that we know is that at midnight, Acts chapter 16, verse 25, at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang hymns. Read what happened to them before they put them into prison. They just did ministry. They delivered a little girl from demon possession. And the chief priests and those religious guys of those days got angry and put them into prison. The Bible said before that, they beat them with rods. What's it? Rod. What you want rod They beat them with rods and laid many stripes on them. So it means before they went into prison, they had stripes all over their body, and their body was oozing with blood. But at midnight, they prayed and sang hymns. How did they do it? To the stand that God had to cause that place to experience earthquake. 
How did they do it? Today, and then, small thing. Somebody is backsliding. Come on, shout! Small thing. We are cursing God. We are cursing the pastor. We are cursing the church. Say to somebody, be aggressive. Be aggressive. Let the devil know. Rejoice not over me, O oh my enemy. For if I fall, I shall rise again. And if I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. The righteous falleth seven times, and seven times he gets up. Say to your neighbor, this one, we take it by force. Ha! The next one, get rid of discouragement. Because of time. Say to somebody, don't be discouraged. Another meaning of discouragement means extinguishing your courage. Get rid of it! Yes, I did it also. Watch me carefully. Let me see your beautiful eyes. There are three voices. There are three voices that always make you and I discouraged. Number one, the devil's voice. Number two, people's voice. Number three, your own voice. And the most lethal of them, the most lethal, mm. dangerous one, mm. deadliest one mm. of them is your own voice because that one is always with you. From camp meeting 2018, Make sure that your own voice is always a voice of encouragement. That voice is always with you. Encouragement is the oxygen of the spirit and of the soul. When you encourage yourself, you pump life to your soul. You pump life to your spirit. The Bible says that the spirit of a man will sustain him in his infirmity. Amen. But a wounded spirit who can Amen. bear. Always encourage yourself. Oh, say to your neighbor, your tomorrow will never be like your yesterday. Oh, hey. You think you know me, watch me a year by this time. Oh, Come on, tell the say? person. I didn't say propose. I said tell the person, you think you know me, watch me a year oh, by this time. Officer, sir. Hey. hey! I prayed and prayed and prayed. Well, boy, boy. I have not forgotten the story. No, Guess no, what no, God did? No, 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 no. One day, one Sunday service, God brought somebody to church. And this was 2005. 13 years ago. Brought somebody to church. Wrote a check of 350 million. That's 35,000 Ghana cities today. 350 million put it in the offering bowl and left. Apostle, I've told you this before. It's one of my greatest testimonies. So anytime I get the opportunity, I share it. Is there anything that is too hard for the Lord to do? Hey. 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 I said double honor. Oh. Yes, you are Beba. Obeba. Obeba Wati. 
Nanso wo se wudi ye kakra. Amen. Na urade fa wo so atwe akra. Wuti ase. Wuti singi room wo ho. Me se amri bi baba wo ho. Hey, one casa me se. Wuda wo ka mu pa na wo ko one casa wo fie. A four bedroom, five bedroom house. Walled and gated. Now, Miss Wutu, one casa will get any more. Now, Bob, Papa, 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 Is that in the field? Lord, Lord. Hey! So say, who did you? I am now on farm where we are near. What's the deal? Now say, you're both welcome new here. What you ask here? Now we call, now we park here. Now we see ya. Now we be sad with ourselves. And say, what is the menu for today? Receive it today. What is the menu for today? You are cultural, say, Madame, and they are palava sauce and the plantain. Shut up! On your meat, you'll be buying extra check. Am I sorry? No, and a new pan of boy up to today. Me money back. And right after that, we had an opportunity. We had an opportunity to buy a land. It's a miracle working God. Hey, that which we have seen, the things that we have heard, the things that we have handled with our own hands. I'm not telling you tales. I am not yet to tell you stories. They are the very things we declare unto you. Something we have experienced. Say to somebody, your best is yet to come. Apostle, your best is yet to come. It's best need Best need Hey! Let me see your beautiful eyes. But you I should go on. That thing is not easy. Come and try and see. Some of you, if I give you this microphone, your eyebrows will start changing position. If you have a mustache, you start losing it. Hey! Quickly. Mazinda Riyakatoya Badaya. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. The Lord sent me to tell somebody. Have a forgiving heart. Leave committing free. And see the great things he will do for you. The people who have hurt you, offended you, it doesn't matter. Say it the Lord. Forgive them. Amen. Release them. Amen. There are three very powerful virtues in Christianity. And any Christian who practices these things always, may I announce to you, will never lack open heavens. Number one is thanksgiving. Number two is giving. Number three is forgiving. Forgiving. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. 
if you don't forgive, your unforgiveness will serve as a cancer to eat your answer. Say to your neighbor, leave come meeting free. All the people you have locked in the prison of your heart, release them. Release them. Release them. God is up to something with you. Release them. Are you understanding me, somebody? Be free. Then the last one. What's this? What's this? The Holy Spirit said to me, I should tell somebody. Be sensitive to him. He's the one God has given to us in our dispensation. He's the one at work in the New Testament church. His name is the helper and the comforter. That means he's to help us and to make our lives comfortable. But if you are not sensitive to him, if you don't know him, if you don't know his voice, if you don't follow him, you will live a frustrated Christian life. He's in you. He's with you. And every time, every day, he wants to direct you. Be sensitive. Let me share with this with you. Then I am through. I don't think we can get time to pray. My apostle. Hello. <laughs> Last two years I was in Atlanta. And one day I, I got up around 2 30 to pray. I was on my bed praying. I pray small and I sleep small. Has that happened to you before? Well, I'm the only sinner here. Unza. Unza, I say, oh, Bob, I want to say, oh, don't go kakra. No, and you have to say, shakala, baba. Rada, da, 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 da. Rada. I was so tired. I had ministered the previous I was so tired. Rada, da, 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 da. I was so tired. Rada, da, da, da. <laughs> then I went into deep sleep. But this one was a special sleep. Guess what the Lord revealed to me? It changed my life. I saw myself standing somewhere. And my hands were like this. And I could feel some, an image behind me holding my two hands. And I wanted to let myself go. But I couldn't. Man of God, come. Come. Please stand. Please stand. Do your hands like this. Okay. Turn. Face the congregation. Do your hands like that. Okay. I could feel an image holding my hands like this. And I was saying, let me go. Let me go. Uh, do you feel me behind you? You feel me? You feel me? But guess what? Guess this. Guess what? Watch this. Watch this. This one, when I was doing all that, I couldn't feel anything. So it means to that image, I was Coco Chop. You understand? I hope you understand where I'm coming from. It means he said, I was, I was small. I was small. That's I couldn't feel anything. I couldn't feel the movement of that image. Mm. But I could still feel mm. that it was holding me. Mm. It means he said, my mm. word is swag. Oh. Some of you, you think the devil is your classmate. Some of you, you think the devil is your classmate. Then I heard behind me, ask me to help you. Ask me to help you. Ask me to help you. Then I asked, who are you? No, say. And he said, I am the Holy Spirit. Ask me to help you. Then I said, help me. Help me. Help me. Nothing happened. 
And I said, why are you not helping me? I don't know what I mean. Then he said, who should help you? Because if you say help me, now to me probably you meant somebody else. Hey, piano, before, me too, I have a name. Mrs. Mewodin. Come on, clap and give him praise in the house. Then I got a revelation and said, Please, Holy Spirit, help me. Then all of a sudden, within the twinkle of an eye, bam! Then that image left me. Then I could feel lightness in my head. Then I heard the Holy Spirit say, I showed you this to let you know that without me, you cannot do anything. And so sometimes as pastors, we can get so busy for the work of the Lord and neglect the Lord of the work. So busy for the work of the Lord, but you have neglected the Lord of the work. When He's telling somebody, come back to me. It is not by your might, it's not by your power, but by my spirit, say the Lord. May the Holy Spirit set somebody on fire today. For greater works in the name of Jesus. Come on, shout it. Yes. yes. Stand to your feet with me. My time. So if you are clapping, let's give it to Jesus. Just two minutes. Lift your two beautiful hands. You came in here like a spark, but I hear the Holy Ghost say you are living like a fire. You came in here like a feather, but I hear the Holy Ghost say you are living like a wing, and you are going to fly to where you belong. You came in here like a fountain, but the Holy Ghost is saying you are living like a river. You came in here looking like an anthill, but you are going to live like a mountain, unshakable and unmovable. Lift your hands and say, Holy Ghost, shout Holy Ghost. Set me on fire. 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 Clap your hands and begin to pray. Santa Pata Prato Santa Pata Santa Pata Santa Pata Santa Pata Sadabaka Prata Sabra Kapa Sami on fire Sadababa Nabara Sadabaka 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 Santo le breca tete, la pala breca panda bala breca pa. Jesus. Santo le breca pala breca la bre. Lift your hands. Oje, oja, un cru cru ni oja. Lift your hands. I'm almost through. Baya wa juma. Baya wa juma. Oje mo, oje. Lift your hands.
minutes lift your holy hands as the Holy Spirit leads me make some declarations upon somebody right now anything that is not of God in your life I see the fire of the Lord burning it right now come on lift your hands receive it right now it's coming upon you now I command that thing to die to die right now you are living this country you are living this country you are living this country receive it in the name of jesus yes yes lift your hands higher somebody it's coming i see something lift your hands now it's happening it's happening lift your hands lift your hands I see something like coals of fire. Lift your hands. Coals of fire. 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 Kaparia Narabashata. And I see something like a drizzling in the house. It's like drizzling. It's like rain is falling in the house. It's falling in the house. Somebody, your desert ground. Ah, he's been made fatal right now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Yes. I hear you, my spirit now. That thing that is not giving you rest, lift your hands. It's been laid to rest today. That thing that is not giving you rest. It's been laid to rest today. Receive, receive, receive. Receive, receive, receive. Receive, receive, receive. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus. Your miracle basket is touching the ground. I see something like hampers, 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 beautifully packaged, beautifully packaged. They are falling. Receive your portion. Receive your portion. Receive your portion. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, I am blessed. Shout, I am blessed. Shut I am blessed. I am blessed. 